Namaste, Mrs. Bhushan. We welcome you. As we know, Chicago is all getting geared up. Actually, the world is all getting geared up for the third International Yoga Day, which is going to be like when we talk about yoga, June the 21st, it marks it. This is going to be the third year in 2017. The call of Prime Minister Modi, which was accepted by 171 and later joined few more countries. At the consulate right here at this premises, the first Agas was there in the third year. Let's hear about the date this year, which is until June the 24th. Yes, June 24th, Saturday, at Naperville Yard, indoor sports complex. So uh, we plan to uh, have about 2,500 people. It's a big sports complex. And uh, please take it as my personal invitation and join us for Yoga Day on Yoga Divas because this is our... Uh, ancient uh, technology philosophy and we want to take it to the whole world and we have been doing it for the last two years in various parts of the world and this year we want to make it very successful here in Chicago land. When we talk about uh, yoga, Ayush Mantrali is very much involved from back home in India. So what is their contribution to different consulates like uh, because Chicago is in the Midwest and you are having nine different states there will be people coming from because there are different organizations. Those were national organizations, let it be Patanjali, Gayatri Parivar, we did the art of living has been there, science of spirituality. They've been partnering with the whole years. So they do their yoga. So what is the contribution from India? So uh, this is a, a major event of the government of India. So all ministries are involved as such. Uh, but the uh, main uh, lead has been taken by uh, the Ministry of External Affairs because we are taking it abroad to all our embassies and consulates through which uh, it is going to uh, our host countries. And uh, the Ayush uh, Mantrale is uh, supporting in various ways like giving their pamphlets and we will be displaying some of the uh, books and uh, pamphlets and other uh, systems of medicines that they are they want they are popularizing now so such as uh, uh, you know uh, ayurveda for example it is so closely connected also with our tra traditional systems so uh, but the main focus is on you so when we talk about is the program being finalized for 24th what are the timings that and how people is there any registration required is there any fee to it no, it's a completely free event. Uh, there is a website that we are launching on International Yoga Day Chicago where organizations can register themselves and we've created a Facebook page also where you want to give some suggestions or comments, they are welcome. Um, but we are not asking for individual registrations because uh, I know that many people may not have the time to go on to the website and give them. But uh, we want to we organize, want the organizations to register themselves, definitely, to know, so that we know uh, how many people are able to come from each organization, etc. Let's hear about the program for that day, what people should be expecting, what time they should be there. And is there any transportation being managed? Okay, so what uh, we are doing is we are saying that there will be, and uh, we want, we would request everybody to come at, at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is when our program is unveiled with some uh, cultural cultural programs. After which the official opening ceremony uh, will start. Before that, we are also having a breakfast uh, event as well. We are saying that uh, come and have breakfast with us. Uh, because we know that it's early morning on Sunday and we don't want people to cook at home. So we will make uh, some restaurants will be sponsoring that. So we would like people to come and have some food there rather than... So, so are we going to have breakfast before doing the yoga? Or how is it? Uh, yeah, so uh, we have this event uh, saying breakfast. So a little uh, bit of uh, snacks are available because we are seeing at the two, two and a half hours official program. So a little bit of food, uh, whoever wants to have, plus children for example, or old people. So it depends on that. I mean, we are making arrangements for breakfast. People can come have a little uh, small juice or some uh, snacks, basically something light so that uh, they are not feeling very hungry. And once the event is over, there will be many food stalls offering various foods. Is that co uh, cost involved in purchase? Yeah. Uh, so we are working on the food. Right? We will be having some packed lunches, but if the numbers are too big, we will not, may not be able to provide them. But uh, uh, in terms of these stalls, 
will be some very small amount, I think, and then you know the variety will be a lot. So we are talking to people that when you mark your calendar for June the 24th, from 10 o'clock to 12, 2 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock for the official program, and after that there will be panel sessions going on in case if they want to stay, and there are some consultations that they want to do with a different Isha and all that they know and they can do it. Am I correct on that? Yes, yes. After the official program, we will still have yoga schools giving demonstrations for 20 minutes or half an hour each. So it will continue. And those who want to do say chair yoga, for example, or do a meditation, uh, uh, learn some meditation techniques and participate in a, a class, they can, they can do that. There'll be, uh, we are also thinking of having some exhibition of some yoga books. So that will be a lot. There'll be a lot to do and see. As we know, when it comes to East and West, yoga is one. We just celebrated 125th anniversary of Parapans Yoginanda Ji. And you know, because he brought at 1893, like at this birth year also, and he lived most of the time in the US. And Swami Vivekananda he came here in Fullerton, right one block from here. And then they brought, they said, the responsibility of East. I think the time has really come, and the government of India has taken an initiative. So people should be coming and contributing their time as well as whatever way they can be part of it. So please do say your website one for it. So uh, we are in the process of uh, just creating the website. It will be operational in a day or so. Um, IYD Chicago. I am not able to give you the exact address right now, but please look for International Yoga Day Chicago. With that you will be able to register. And Google allows you to search like, you know, you should be able to do it. We wish you all the best, ma'am. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir.